This video demonstrates the use of the optimal recloser placement function, which is part of the reliability analysis module. Study case 5.3 of the MV distribution network example should be activated. The location of recloser switches in the network is one of the factors that affect reliability of supply, so let's first look briefly at how reliability is evaluated. Reliability assessment is used to assess a network's response to possible faults and quantify in terms of standard indices the reliability of the customer supply. Commonly used indices include SIFI, which is the System Average Interruption Frequency Index, SIDI, which is the System Average Interruption Duration Index, and ENS, or Energy Not Supplied. Having assessed the reliability of a network in this way, a logical next step is to determine how these indices might be improved. Having additional recloser capability is one option. Let's first look at a switch that's already configured to act as a reclosing device. This switch would make three attempts to reclose if a fault was seen. This means that for a transient fault, the associated circuit would be quickly restored. Optimal recloser placement can be used to find the best locations for additional switches to act as reclosers. In this study case, the lines in this part of the network have been modelled as overhead lines, which are of course susceptible to transient faults caused by lightning strikes. If we colour the diagram according to feeders, we can see that these two feeders, FD01 and FD02, are relevant, so our calculations will focus on these. The optimal recloser placement command is found in the optimal power restoration toolbox. This link is used to access the associated reliability assessment command. The command has been configured to consider faults associated with the two feeders FD01 and FD02. The candidate locations for the recloser functionality will be determined as any relevant circuit breakers that do not yet act as reclosers, excluding those which protect cables. There are three possible objective functions for the optimization we will opt to minimize the energy not supplied. With these settings, we're able to decide how the reclosers should be placed. Here, we specify that a maximum of two locations should be selected for additional recloser placements. Two additional reclosers may not, of course, be sufficient, but the process can be repeated from the new starting point as often as is required. This setting means that no more than one recloser will be placed in any one feeder. And this number is used when assessing MIFI, the Momentary Average Interruption Frequency Index. It will also be used as the setting in any switch that is identified as a new recloser. When the calculation is run, the resulting changes to switches will be recorded in a network variation. On the results page, we'll deselect this option to automatically generate reports after the analysis and focus first on what the optimization process does. We can now execute the command. We can see that two new reclosers have been placed by the optimization process. Let's look at the switches that have been identified. These are also indicated on the diagram. The changes made to the switches can be seen in a variation manager. Now, let's run the reports to see the impact of the change.
On this first page, we see the resulting improvement in ENS, the energy not supplied, as well as EIC, the energy interruption costs, and SIDI, the System Average Interruption Duration Index. As expected, my fee, the Momentary Average Interruption Frequency Index, is now higher. This is partly because of failed attempts by the new reclosers to reclose on sustained faults and partly because of successful reclosure after transient faults. In both cases, these events will result in momentary interruptions being registered. On this page, we see the calculated potential impact for each of the candidate switches. Filtering in this column, we again see the two identified switches, one in each feeder and we can see the impact that each has had on the reliability indices. As mentioned earlier, further optimization is possible. The calculation can be repeated as often as required to establish more recloser locations, or indeed the calculation can be carried out with a larger number of recloser placements requested. Together with optimal remote controlled switch placement, the optimal recloser placement function offers great potential for improving network reliability.